It's going green. Yeah, we're live. How's it going, everyone? Good Monday evening. It is Monday, April 15. It's tax day. Get your taxes done. I don't care where you're from. You've got to pay taxes. Uh, technically, you've already been paying taxes. That's why you got to submit the the paperwork. That's why you got to submit that. That's because they sent you that W-2. You've already been paying taxes. So, uh, oh, and by the way, um, you do understand that if you get a refund, it's like the money you overpaid. So it's not like magic money that's just going to appear out of nowhere. And here you go. Here's your money. No. Please understand that the, that money, that's a refund. It's called a refund. It means they're giving you your money back. It's called a refund. So please don't think it's brand new money that the government's giving you. It's not you overpaid. Now they're just settling up with you. So uh, don't think the government's not fair. Hey, they at least settle up with you, right? So. With that being said, good evening. My name is Dave, and thanks for stopping by. This is Let's Have a Chat. It's Monday, April 15, tax day. And as I said, get your taxes in. Uh, it's also on the calendar, sports and leadership. And a lot of stuff's going on this weekend. A lot of stuff's going on. A lot of stuff happened this weekend. And, um, you know, there's one thing I'm not going to cover because I'm not going to mention it. That way I don't cover it. But if I mention it, I technically have covered it. So we're going to leave that alone. So tonight's what we're going to talk about tonight. Well, we're going to talk about the NFL draft. It's coming. Get ready. It's going to happen sooner than you think. And um, hope you're ready. It's my understanding it's also going to be the first time it's going to be aired prime time on a major network. So uh, that's on the 25th, so 10 days from now where the clock is ticking. So that being said, folks, what does that have to do with leadership? It has a lot to do with leadership. One, the players that are eligible coming out of college and getting ready to get drafted, well, for one, they've shown that they can do it. Um, they've shown that they can make it happen. They can be students. They can be athletes. They can be Heisman Trophy winners, uh, bowl winners, bowl, you know, a bowl attending, like football, college bowls, um, and stuff like that. So what does that say about them? It says, well, one thing, you know, they've proven themselves. Now it's time to take it to the next level. The next level, well, obviously it's in the professional. It's They're going to get paid money finally for what they're doing. And that's a good thing. So it's all about change. And again, that's really every, that's really every day. That's really every life. That's really everyone. It's all about change. And in sports, change is constant. Change is a concept because one day you're up, next day you're down. One day you're up, next day you're down. And you're down for years and then you're back up again. And it happens. See, I said I wasn't going to talk about them, but I just did. But what I'm getting at is change. It's all evolution, nonstop evolution. And at any point, at any point, sure, you stop being the athlete, but guess what? You're still looked up as a leader. You're still looked at as a leader. And... Um, that's a good thing. So realize that change is going to happen. Change is part of the process. Boston Marathon ran. Two individuals won. Well, they always win. And there we go. I've got a little stutter there on my on my display back. Um, again, what do they do? Every single day they're out there running. Every single day they are out there hustling. They're out there putting their feet on the pavement. Well, put their feet in the shoes and then on the pavement. But you get what I'm saying is that, yes, they realize that in order to stay on top, they've got to be on top. And the only way to be on top is to constantly be working for it. So, sure, someday it'll, someday it'll be cold. Someday it'll be hot. Someday it'll be rainy. Someday it'll, someday it'll be dry. There'll be snow, whatever. And guess what? Yes, they do train in the environments that they're going to go compete in. So understand that if they're going to compete in the snow because we just had that winter vortex, Wesley, I think is what it was called and it's blowing through well guess what they practice in that environment why because they want to be the best they have to thrive in all environments it's just like the united states military we practice we train in every environment why because in order to be the best you have to be out there where the competition is going to be you have to be out there where the enemy's at you have to be out there where the action is taking place and if you're not prepared to do that you're not prepared to change you're not prepared to win and when you're not prepared to win you know what you're just going to lose. And it's just that simple. Either you win or you lose. There's no eighth place trophy. I don't remember the guy's name who won, who came in eighth place. Is anybody? No. Well, unless you're the one that got the eighth place trophy. But what I'm getting at here is you have got to hustle. You've got to grind. And you've got to accept the fact that change, no matter what you're doing in the NFL draft, Boston Marathon, NASCAR, uh, hockey, basketball, whatever, 
Change is happening every single day. As a fan, you should know that. As a fan, you should be well aware of when there's a, your favorite player gets injured. It's like the end of the world. And for those of you that play fantasy football, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But again, you realize that change is happening. It's just making that transition from that life, that sporting life, to your personal life and understand that you have got to put in the work. You have got to practice. You have got to make it happen. And when you don't do that, well, guess what? You get exactly what you get. You deserve it. So if you put in the minimal effort, you're going to get the minimal results. No one's going to hand it to you. It's not going to get handed to you. I don't know. I don't, I, nothing's been handed to me. Everything I've had to work for, and I still have to work for it. So guess what? You got to work for it too. So today we're talking about NFL draft, how much they're getting ready for to do they've done it now they're getting ready to go up to the next level can they compete can they play can they play can they get paid that's really the bottom line boston marathon non-stop change non-stop change non-stop practice non-stop hustle non-stop grinding non-stop folks it's monday of course there's lots of other things we'll talk about one individual tomorrow in in the news it has nothing to do with sports and uh We'll talk to you then. Have a great evening. Have a great rest of your Monday night. And I will talk to you on Tuesday. Have a great Tuesday day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.